Alright guys, welcome back to your 25th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to create your own objects. So like I said before, an object is pretty much a special type of data that has its own properties and its own methods. And today we're going to be creating an object that has a couple properties with it. We won't be talking about methods now, but maybe in the future tutorial or definitely in the future tutorial we will. So basically, there are a couple of different ways that we can make our own objects. One of the ways, and probably the easiest way, is to use something called a constructor function. And like I said before, an object is pretty, pretty much a blueprint. So that's what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. So in order to make our own object, what people typically do is whenever they're making this blueprint, they go ahead and take the script and they stick it in the head. So let's go ahead and do that put your script tags in the head and whenever we're printing stuff out we try to do that in the body so for now since we're not printing anything out let's just go ahead and stick this in the head so in order to create this special thing called a constructor function it looks basically just like any other function go ahead and type the name function just like that and we're going to be making a blueprint or aka object for people so go ahead and name it like person or people or whatever you want so we have an object called person. Now let's go ahead and list some properties that are going to be associated with every person. We can't say like um, something very specific. We have to list properties that are associated with every person. So every person in the world has a name and they have an age. You can't list like um, favorite computer because some people don't even have computers so don't list something like that make it general like a name and age so now in your body here is what we do now this is kinda weird but this is how they set it up whenever we want to take a value and assign it to a person we need to use a special keyword called this and later on what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be calling this method and being like Bucky Roberts 24 Taylor Swift 20 Bucky's mom 38 so we're gonna be passing it in information and assigning it to that object so in order to say alright we wanna work with this current object you need to give it a special keyword called this I know it's weird but this is what you have to do and this basically means is we're working with the current object why it would ever work with another another object I don't know but trust me it's stupid I understand but it's what you have to do so this current objects name is whatever name we pass in there so it's gonna take like Bucky Roberts and it's gonna assign it to the objects name this is pretty much saying this whatever information we pass in and whatever information we want to assign to the object that's all it does really so now we have to do it with age this objects age is going to be equal to whatever the age we tell it to pass in. Simple enough. So I was saying, all right, this is basically called a constructor function, and it's basically a blueprint for a function. So now we have the blueprints right here, but we really don't have an object yet. All we have is the instructions telling us how to make one. So let's go ahead and make a couple objects right now. In order to make a new object, and by the way, let me just tell you guys this. I say make a new object, but if you're taking a test uh, for college or something, it's actually called creating a new instance of an object. So I say it like, you know, the straight up way, but the technical term, put on your quiz, create a new instance of an object. So, you know, say that and your teacher will probably, you know, I don't want to say get a hard on or something. So in order to create a new object, it's just like creating a new variable variable and then you list the name of your object I'm gonna create a Bucky object so in order to do that go ahead and set it equal to this whenever you create a new instance aka whenever you create an object you have to use the keyword new this is telling JavaScript we're about to create a new object so after this we write what blueprint do we want to use well since we're gonna be creating a new Bucky object and we only have one blueprint obviously it's gonna be the person blueprint so it says alright since you're using that person blueprint it takes two pieces of information the first thing that I need is the name and the second thing I need is the age okay let's go ahead and give that to you name Bucky 
Roberts, age 24. And make sure, remember, any strings have to be in quotation marks and any numbers don't have to be. So that is basically how you create a new object. Your object's name, what blueprint you want to use, and any information it needs. So let's go ahead and create another one real quick. Um, var, let's make one for Taylor Strut since she is cute. Uh, new, of course, she's a person too, but her name, whoa, Taylor Swift, and I don't know her age, but I'm going to guess like 20 or something. I don't know, who knows. Either she was 20 or she is going to be 20 at one point, so good enough. So now we have two objects, a Bucky object and a Taylor object. Bucky object now has two properties. Its name is Bucky Roberts and its age is 24. <coughs> oh, I got like kennel cough or something. And then we have a Taylor object. The Taylor object's name is Taylor Swift and the Taylor object's age is 20. So that's pretty cool. We have a blueprint right here and we actually created the objects down here. But why is this useful? Well, can we print it out or something? Oh, yes, we can. So remember, like I said, anytime you want to print something out, you should do so in the body. So let's go ahead and print out this stuff right now. Document, write. So anytime, just like before in the last tutorial, I told you guys, you want to use an object's properties, you need to list the name of the object. And let's go ahead, we have two objects to choose from, Bucky and Taylor. Let's go ahead and print out my name first. So list the name of your object, Bucky, and then using a dot separator, you list the name of its property or variables. So Bucky's name should print out Bucky Roberts. Pretty cool, huh? So let's go ahead and see another example if we wanted to print out um, Taylor Swift's age, we would write the object Taylor and the property we want to access is age. So let's go ahead and save this and it should print out 20, just like that. So like I said, this is just a better way of organizing data. Instead of going, you know, calling a function or anything like that to access Taylor Swift's age, the only thing we need to do now is list the name of the object and what property we want to access. So Bucky's name, Bucky's age, Taylor Swift's name, Taylor Swift's age. It's a whole lot easier than creating a bunch of functions to display all that information. So again, to recap one last time, in order to create the blueprint for an object, you pretty much do something called create a constructor function, and that is the technical name. And in order to do that, you write what type of object do you want to be making, and then list the information that it needs, and then say, all right, with that information that we're going to pass in, we want to assign it to that object. So Bucky's name is going to be Bucky Roberts. Taylor's age is going to be 20. And then, now that we have a blueprint, we can go ahead and make as many objects as we want. I made two in this example, but we can either make 5, 10, 5,000 if we want. It doesn't matter. And after that, whenever you want to use any information from an object, you go ahead and write the object's name and the variable or the properties associated with it. And again, don't forget, if you're watching this tutorial because your teacher confused you in JavaScript class or something like that, whenever you're creating objects, I say creating objects, but the technical term is creating an instance of an object. And the technical term for this is called a constructor function. So there you go, there's your answers for your test. And uh, that's the basics of how to create our very own objects. So this is one way we can create objects. Another way, I'm gonna be teaching you that in maybe a couple tutorials, maybe the next tutorial. I haven't decided yet, but for now, that's all you get. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to check out my website, and I will see you guys later.